some paper that I want to discuss a lot of ancillary things around. Uh, and this paper is called Omni Jarvis. Unified Vision Language Action Tokenization Enables Open World Instruction Following Agents. Uh, and it's a paper out of China. And the interesting thing to note is that it's from multiple institutions as well as collaboration with uh, UCLA. I think that like they always do that. I think it's important overall that they do that like for credibility. But so I've fo been following Jarvis, like this Jarvis uh, research for a while. If you look at a few of my YouTube videos from about a year and a half ago, uh, I tra started tracking Jarvis because around that time I was tracking like, everything around agents and then the original Jarvis is around agents. And then so it's where it caught my attention. And then so the unique thing with Jarvis is, is that it uh, takes place, it's an agent 100% that lives and uh, like works within Minecraft the game. And so like the interesting thing around this to me is, is that you have to look at this from the mindset of the Chinese researchers, right? Which is that they don't have access to a lot of money and uh, especially compared to the Western researchers and there's a lot of sanctions around uh, what they can do so they have access to like limited resources with regards to compute uh, and then so they have to make like very like, strategic decisions and then within that within this Jarvis framework if you've been paying attention to the Jarvis research overall their mindset overall is that the uh, like Minecraft can serve as a simulation for the real world that it's complex enough that it's uh, if an agent can like fully solve and be 100 percent autonomous within the world of minecraft and they they're able to 100 percent get there then they've essentially like fully solved autonomous agents period and, and then so they're they've been getting closer and closer this is now like a year and a half in right and then so this is Ahmed jarvis uh which is multiple iterations in at this point and then so kind of the key thing about Ahmed jarvis and the unique thing about it uh and it, the Unique thing that's interesting. I've honestly had these hypotheses for a while, and it's it's cool to see actual research done on it and like them, them actually doing it. Uh, so this is regards towards two things: the tokenization mechanism within models and multimodal fusion within models. And then both of these things, if you don't know, they're like they go hand in hand, and they're they're kind of a complicated issue. Um, and then so. I guess the simplest way to frame it is is that when you're dealing with multimodality within the models, um, like within the humans, right? Like, uh, uh, like it's we have ear, nose, and mouth, right? And then those are all three correlated, very specifically, like ears, nose, and mouth. Like you go to the ear, nose, and mouth doctor, and the person is trained on ears, nose, and mouth, right? Because they're all three connected to each other, like they're they're a, a unit, whereas with uh, multimodality within AI, let's say, like, we translate that to sensors, right? Like, so vision, text, uh, and audio, like, like, the modalities, they're not connected in the same way that they are within humans. They're, like, individualized. And then, so, the goal is, is always to, like, try to fuse them and, and make them connected, right? But, like, how do you, like, actually, like, make them connected? And then there's been different, like, efforts and ways to do them. If you just put them together, they don't, they, they don't fuse. And then, so, what uh, Omnidrug does here is very simplistic in, in, at its core, honestly, is that it, uh, the training data is um, interwoven with different modalities. And then, so, it's, uh, you have text, image, and audio, and then it's, like, interwoven and, and interspersed, right? And, and like, very interspersed and very mixed um and then so that's, that's number one like it's uh, like um uh training it like just as if like they're all uh, the you know you, it, it's training it to fuse them <laughs> and the second thing is and like the most significant thing to me with regards to course army drivers here is is that it's all um self-supervised training and then so self-supervised training means that the model train itself, <laughs> like it, it, uh, it came up with this training regime, and then it's a data set, and then it is uh, regulating and uh, making sure that it's sticking to the training regime itself, and then so there's no human involvement essentially within that. Uh, and then the model that they use uh, for this is GPT-4. Oh, sorry, Llama-3 um, for uh, this uh, specific test, uh, Llama-3. 
Uh, and then uh, other than that, it's uh, everything else is, is pretty straightforward. Uh, it's they're just training that tokenizer via multimodal um, interspersed multimodality. That's really all it is, and it's just training the tokenizer via data, right? And then uh, there is some math involved with that, but uh, other than that, it gets, it's very simplistic overall um, how that works, uh, and then what exactly we're looking at here. Uh, but so this is multimodal Jarvis, and then so just like the most interesting things to me are the self supervision and the fact that it's uh, it's highly taking place within Minecraft, and then like the very first Jarvis paper, they they state it very specifically, like it's a very specific sentence where it's like they say if it, like if all um, technologies within Minecraft can be solved, then it's like the, the literal equivalent of solving all technologies within the real world. Uh, and like they, they lay it out like, like pretty explicitly. Um, and so they've been working towards that and they, like, they're getting really close at this point. Um, and then so, uh, yeah, this is uh, Omni Jarvis. Thank you very much.